Oh yeah, the babies, two of them. Oh god, here's a dad. Hate this cave, I hate this cave. I still don't know what to think about this cave. He's always breeding in this darn cave. Here's a female face. Ah, and there's a female tail down there. Male here, and then little babies in there. Oh, I hate this cave, but he loves it. So, what you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do about it? Anyways, boom. Here's the failed, um, <clears throat> failed, um, blue eyed male with a uh, regular black female. And, um, this is pretty much what I have. Behind us, we have, oh, seconds. In the second incubator behind us, we have uh, the batch, the clutch of um, long fins, excuse my voice. Happy Friday, by the way, guys. Happy Friday. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. And welcome. And here we go. Boom. <clears throat> Anyways, it being goofy. Um, today's a big day for Mr. Blue Eyes here because I'm about to stree up him. Um, he's been holding for a couple days and his babies are wigglers and he's a blue eye but unfortunately he bred with a either a regular female or a white female. I know right? Why she gotta be white for? Anyway he's in the back. Um, yeah, I got him in the, uh, bucket now, but it doesn't seem like he's abandoning ship. It's gonna be hard. Alright, just finished stripping him. He looks like about 60 or so. Here's his blue eyes. So pretty in this, uh, cave that I made. And, um... We all know they're going to turn out black, but it's all good. Good time for your first try. Good time. Good time. What up, kids? And there you have it, guys. Uh, the babies I just pulled out. And, um, yeah, you know, there's about 60 of them. Um, and they're looking healthy. Um, the bad news is, well, now I got three incubators going. Uh, they're going to turn out like this. If I can turn it, boom. They're gonna turn out like these guys, so that's that. But, um, you know, I still got the veal tails over here. They, they're all underneath the leaf right now. See that leaf? Woo! So, um, that about does it. Yeah, so that about does it for, um, I'm running out of batteries and storage space, but, um, yeah, three incubators going now. Happy Friday, July 22nd, whatnot. What up, guys? I just got finished feeding my 55 plexiglass cichlid tank. Um, as you can see, they're getting pretty big and coloring out, <clears throat> excuse me, pretty nicely. Um, pretty nicely, pretty nicely. <clears throat> They're doing good. Um, my friend Tosa is right there. They're doing pretty gnar, pretty gnar. Um, all of them are seven stripes, I believe. But if they don't look it, it's because of the way I picked it out. Like these guys right here. I picked two bars that look like one. To kind of resemble the hybrid Black Widow which are pretty rare and expensive but no one really likes them because they're hybrid front hoses but um i got the next closest thing these are seven stripes but you see how these two stripes stick together that's seven see one two three four five six seven stripes but kind of resemble a black widow whatnot um feeding my dragon blood so they're getting bigger um really colorful um, what I really want to talk about is my Dista Chotis flagtails. Oh, this guy right here. 
I just threw in five of them last night and it seems like they're doing pretty well. Um, I didn't know if they're going to move up in the hierarchy or not, but now there are like five of them right here. So um, they definitely um, grouped up nice. Um, I just fed them and um, <clears throat> they're in the corner of the tank by themselves and everybody was eating but them and I got worried but then um, when the final scrap bits came um, towards this area right here where they're hiding where these OB peacocks are they're hiding behind this driftwood here and um, five of them and then the scrap pieces came and I guess that's where all the, these guys would go to eat the scrap pieces oh there's another dragon blood but anyways, they're eating all the scrap pieces and um, all of a sudden they just got brave and um, started moving all the way to the left where all the big fish eat or fry or juvies. So um, now they just made themselves at home. I just threw them in yesterday after I did a water change and um, they're doing pretty well for themselves. I was pretty worried, pretty worried about them but um, they're doing they're doing really great they're swimming around as a, a group or at least you know um, you know um, what they ever say uh, stronger numbers so uh, yeah definitely definitely here they are right here so there's there's five of them and they barely they barely separate in their pack they barely separate in their pack and um, they're doing pretty well for themselves I didn't think they can hang just for second day because yesterday I did water change like again and um, I was worried about them came in here fed the fish they were in the corner and then the scrap bits came and then they I guess you know the animal instinct came in and they're like whoa food this is where the food is boom and they just got their pack and they went where the food was it's towards the left right here so um no doubt in mind that um, tomorrow they're just gonna be on the left side eating just like the regular regular fish in here now so um, definitely their pack moved up in the hierarchy good for a, a big busy tank like this and just for me to throw in the, the, the five I was pretty worried but um, I guess I don't have to worry too much anymore because um, they're doing well very well for themselves very well for themselves so um i was worried see here's two more coming back for food there's a third one so um most definitely um they they've 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 adapted and um i don't have to worry about them getting sick ick spreading it all around um it was definitely a good 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 choice on my behalf throwing them in here because um, in here they get to eat my good food mix and they get to um, socialize with other small juvies growing up. So in a way, you know, they kind of build their hierarchy up. And so when you throw them in any tank, they already have that natural animal instinct, you know, like mother nature type stuff. So they'll be able to um, handle themselves in other tanks in the near future if I plan to uh, you know rehome some or or just to put in tanks with my other fish in general like my my dragon fish or jar so um totally um just want to give you guys a little update on on the um on my on our uh just the chotis flag tail um while i'm at it here's some dragon bloods Ooh, that's a nice one coloring out really nice just keep on swimming around teasing here Jeez, uh, we got some sulfur heads. They look ugly when they're small, but there you go, the sulfur heads. Um, what else are we looking at here? There, there goes a the nice one right here. This one's coming out pretty nice. First, it was ugly, but uh, OB peacocks right here, right in front of us. Couple of OB peacocks. Um, all these are purebreds, by the way. That's why they look so nice and pretty and beautiful. Um, some frontosas, of course. We didn't breed on my bottom, but I mean, the look at the markings. I think I got all of them in the store that nice. Uh, got about five of those little baby frontosas. Four of them. There's another one. 
Here's a yellow peacock. Hope he colors out nice. Um, maybe some Victorians, and that's pretty much it. Um, really want to bore you guys on this, but I just want to give you update on the uh, the flag tails or the black flag tails we had, and um, give you guys a little look at the uh, the little Juvie Siglet grow out tank in the 55 Plexi. Um, my brother, he actually put these driftwoods in, so um, kudos to him. I'm digging it. Uh, you know, none of them are hurting themselves or anything. It's just really nice for the um, the decoration. I'm feeling it. But um, definitely there's some pleckles in here that need to be grown out, like this albino marble self in gibbosips. We got two of them. Uh, here's a normal plain pleco. I think we have two bushy nose in here. Uh, here's an albino bushy nose. I actually scratched that. We probably have like three bushy nose, two regular and um, two. Uh, I mean, one one of those. Um, while I'm at it, you guys want to see the Moscow, uh, the blue Moscow uh, guppy thingy? So here's the uh, blue Moscow. It's dark right now. I'm letting him do his thing. It's dark. So, um, here's his babies. We got like 20 of them, 40 of them. There's a lot of them. I don't know if you can see or not, but there's his little baby fries. Little baby, baby fries. Now, the reason why I put them in here is because they're not going to get harmed or anything or eaten, so I'm not worried. Um, they're everywhere. Trust me, you'll see them later. Here is my, after my whole Apleco fiasco, they all died. Here's my um, blue eye with regular, and they turned out black still. Here's my um, veal tail back here. Wow, I got like 60 of them. Most of them are starting to turn um, regular. A lot of them are still albino. But yeah, they're um, veal tail, so that's cool. That's cool. Um... What else here? This guy, we just pulled that out and it turned out to be a fail, but cool. Um, this one's holding actually, and then we just pulled that one out in the incubator. Let me see if I can get some footage of him. Yep, see some on the ground. Now, this is a blue eye male with a uh, regular or a albino, so um, it's gonna turn out black. We look at him, he's blue eyes. <laughs> this is his first time. Look at him fanning. Fanning like crazy. Um, anyways, um, we all know how that, this guy, we just pulled it out from him. We all know how, we, uh, we all know how his fries are going to turn out black. But it's all good. At least he's learning. So when I have the blue ones ready or the calico or whatnot, whatever, you know. Um, it's going to look pretty good, pretty good. Um, anyways, whatever. Here's the females again. They're, as I said, they're uglier than males, but they look pretty, huh? Actually, there's a couple males we forgot to pull out, so um, that's why it still kind of looks pretty. Uh, anyways, here's most of the males, the dominant colors. Um, some of them are holding in here, so I've got to catch some more males out. Um, I'm slacking, lacking, but there are some uh, females left too. Word.